but because it's an item Hopefully it's like an item that you can only get in both games and not some other way of doing it like Applin was. Like Applin, you have to have a special Apple from each that only shows up in Sword or Shield respectively to be able to evolve it. Yeah. Because that's going to be interesting. Go we'll look at uh, general discussion. day one i already have my pre-ordered i have my pre-ordered on the e-shop so but i have to wait i had the money on there i just have to wait until the the, the the i wanted to say the first but the 11th of november for that to be taken out i'm i'm iffy on the serastalizing it's it's i don't know i mean it's gonna be pretty cool for it's gonna it's gonna throw competitive through a, for a loop for sure anybody who does competitive it's going to be one of those things that just, like, throws everything off. But also, it does change gym leaders up, too. Like, a gym leader could have an Oshawott or a Samurott on their team, be a fire-type leader, and have a terrestrialize it, a, a, a fire-type Oshawott. Apparently, that Gen 7, the Gen, the, the Gen 6 starters... No, it's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. We know that already. There's never going to be a time anymore that they're going to have the entire national decks on one single game. It's just not going to happen. We need, we need to let that go. We need to let that go. They're not going to do it. I mean, the only reason that there was a national decks in BDSP is because that was a remake. Same thing when Unova gets remade and if they remake... Um, They, if, when they remake Gen 5, and if, if they do re, if they do remake Gen 6 way down the road, you'll have a National Dex up to those games, and that's it. You won't be able to put new mod, like, it won't be a full-fledged National Dex, which sucks, but it is what it is. So just, and it, it's just kind of baffling that the fact that this game can hold an entire National Dex and every single Pokemon up to that time, in this game if you really wanted to but a game that's on a system that's much stronger than this one cannot i don't care what they say that's bogus um the next remakes will be univa which will be black and white. The next ones will be black and white remakes. All right, I gotta make sure she's doing a nice little blue. Come on, show me the face. Show me your fingers. Show me, show it to me. Come on, come on. Show it to me. That's it, there we go. I like to have that in the face right away. But yeah, 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 that's, that's the way that's gonna go is that it's just how it's gonna be. Okay, so we gotta take I'll take the, uh, you know, I'll just take, uh, this is going to be tough to do this, but uh, we'll take this and this right here. Move all this over. Yeah, this is going to be definitely a little bit tougher. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Get that there. Make this thing work for me, please. Yeah, I'm used to doing this. I've done this on Sword and Shield where it's just straight lines instead of like this, like this thing, like this. So, yeah. Okay, so that goes there. Okay. Kalos remakes. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how they do. Callus will be for a while. Like that's that's at least another ten years before we even think about Callus. By the time we get to Callus remakes, whenever that's gonna happen, we'll be on Switch too. If you know that, I black and white because it actually forces you to play with the actual new Pokemon. You can't get classic Pokemon or old Pokemon from previous generations until you get the post game. No, that's not low leaking. 
Um, Kalos remakes will happen eventually, but Unova comes first. Absolutely. They're not, they're not going to go Gen 4 remakes, which is B BDSP, and then go, well, we're going to skip a generation, go to Kalos, and then come back. We're not going to see... We, like, Gen 9's coming up. Gen 9's coming up. It starts in November. We're not going to see another remake for a game till Gen 10. I just don't see them doing Cal um, Unova remakes in, BD in this generation coming up. We'll get DLC next year, so <clears throat> the, the Pokemon stuff we'll get next year is going to be DLC. I don't know what we're going to get in 2024. And 2025 will be Gen 10. Five Gen 10. Because this is year one, Gen 10, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I remember when I first played, um, that was the first time, I remember when I first started playing that game and I saw, uh, Vanillaite for the first time, the, the little ice cream cone, and I'm like, really? And then I saw, um, Trubbish, and I'm like, they're really running out of ideas. If they're, get, if they're scraping so far down that they have to have a trash can, a trash bag, and a pile of trash, and an ice cream cone up to an icicle and stuff, they're running out of ideas. That's what That was my mentality on all that. I mean, it's a cool looking mon. Now, I will say, the whole, like, when it comes to shiny mons, vanilla, the vanilla it looks awesome, but it, and I think vanilla, but vanilla is terrible. It's shiny is absolutely terrible. One of the very worst. One of the absolute worst. Like, if it would have just like had all three of them be the like set, like the light pink that the first one was, I think it'd be better. But no, I don't know why they did that. And we can all agree, Garchomp is one of the most garbage shinies out there, along with um, Gengar. And the thing of it is, Combustion used to have a terrible shiny, and then for whatever reason, when they brought him into sort um, Galar, they changed the shiny for Combustion, and it's an awesome looking shiny now. Peach Rings is a pretty good flavor. Texas Blast is terrible. Texas Blast is ugh. I had that yesterday. It's rainbow candy flavor, I guess. Absolutely terrible. Fazberry, Fazberry can. I'm only talking about cans. Is the best for me for G Fuel. All right, take it easy, Oscar. Have a good one. I'll be back tomorrow as well. Hunting for Samurats. Yeah. Yo, you have a nice old day. I'm gonna sit here and just. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna go. Usually, like, I'm usually like I do five boxes down here because it's been my norm. I'm done. But I got my shiny today, I got two, we're gonna go for, I don't know. My limit on hours is four, which I'm going to push myself on Scarlet and Violet Day and try and get as much out. I did one five hour stream back when I was looking for Onyx, even with the G Fuel, and by the time I got that fifth hour done, I pushed myself to five hours, I regretted it the rest of the day. I was so messed up, like, my head and everything, like, everything just hurt, my head hurt. Like, four is my limit, maybe four, four and a half would be the most I would do. But I'm going to try and push that for um, a new game. Because I want to be there at midnight. When it goes live, boom, gone, done. Going to be going. Like, ugh. Once the um, money goes through and it like it starts downloading or I get my the pre-order money actually goes through, I won't be like, ugh, I just want it to go through. Right now it's just I have like this extra, um, that's shiny. Shiny, is it not? That's a shiny Ashawat. That's shiny. That's shiny. Are you kidding me? That's that's shiny. That is not correct me wrong. That's shiny. <laughs> oh, that's shiny. That's absolutely shiny. Oh. Oh my god. That's three shinies today. Oh my god. That's shiny. That is absolutely shiny. Okay. 
Well, Gens Gens 5 is done. Just like that. Gen 5 is done. Poseidon, the king of the Brooshan. I just think, like, Adrav, it's like Adrav's name thing, but it's like, that's a pretty cool name. I definitely would name my Samurai off that. How, how do I even top this day? How do I top this? I'm done. I'm done today. I am not doing another shiny hunt today. I'm 538 um, shinies. I don't know what else to say. Flash. Keep on moves. I, I, I've got nothing. 